Hello everybody and today I'm going to try my best to uh, demonstrate my computer crashing. I'm trying to document every possible aspect of this so I can try to figure it out. So I'm going to recreate the crashing uh, scenario. Uh, and I'm going to try a game that always crashes and I will uh, fill out like a spreadsheet or something like along those lines to throw in everything I've tried thus far to um, fix this issue that I've been having. So I'm going to start up a game here and this game, I, like I said, I'll put everything down below, but we're going to start off with a game that crashes pretty much immediately every time, crashes my whole computer, uh, I'd say within 60 seconds. And this crash has happened in a couple different games, but we will we will de demonstrate that right now. Games that aren't graphically demanding either. Uh, like I can play Grand Theft Auto V on max settings for 24 hours straight. I can play another game. Like I'll be getting like 80 to 100 FPS in Grand Theft Auto V. Some another game I'll be getting 400. Or 500 FPS, and it'll crash. And I have limited, because I thought, oh, maybe my graphics card is pumping out too many frames. And that was not a crash, that was just an update. Popping up. And that's another thing, I have updated everything. It was just saying, should I scan for an update? Alright, so here we are. And it should crash my computer. And I have no message that says my video card crashes or anything like that. But. We will see in a moment. Alright, give it a sec. So, I don't know if I should talk all about it because I'm just going to put it into a uh, sheet so everybody, you can read it. But I'm going to put down everything that I've done already to fix this issue. And I have done research online. Uh, see right now it's hard to see, I'm getting 400 FPS right now. Um, and like this crash has happened in Counter-Strike, it's happened in games where you think it wouldn't be graphically demanding, and then like vice versa. But I'm gonna put a spreadsheet talking about everything I've already done to try to fix this issue. And I have done research, and I have found a lot of stuff talking about the GTX 970, I have an EVGA, GTX 970 super clocked and I've read some issues about that card so there are other people that have had this issue where it just crashes says no signal and I have to hold uh, the power button to do a hard restart on my computer but any moment now this just crashed five minutes ago when I tried playing it but I think this is the longest I've never played this game now. And I have paid attention to all of my temperatures, nothing is getting too hot, all of that. I ran benchmarks where it would, or stress tests to determine that, so nothing, it's never crashed during a benchmark or a stress test. Um, yeah, so it honestly is not crashing right this second. You know, we're four minutes into this already, but it should crash momentarily. If any of you guys have seen any issue like this before, if you have any solution, uh, shoot me a message or anything, try to get a hold of me. I'm looking at getting a new graphics card, but I'm worried, you know, get a 1080 Ti, put it in there, and it still crashes. Oh, there we go. And it crashed. So my secondary monitor says no signal. My main one says no signal. Um, my keyboard is still lit up. All of my lights, everything is still on in my computer. Nothing is different. My fan is still on. And another thing too, when this crash happens, my sound turns off. If I'm in a Skype call, if I'm in any call, if I'm listening to music, that all turns off. 
Um, my keyboard turned off, turned back on right now. My main monitor is off. My right monitor is blinking the power button like it's sleep right now. And my keyboard just turned off again. I've actually sat here and waited. It doesn't come back on. Um, I've turned my monitor on and off. And I just have to hold the power button to restart my computer. So this happens. Uh, obviously you just saw that I just did it within five minutes. Uh, a lot of games I'll try to play and this just happens. Like I said, I'm going to put a sheet. I'm not going to say every detail about what I have done. You can just read through that. But I have done pretty much every possible solution that I can think of outside of taking a... And I have done research on this already. I haven't taken... I haven't got like a new motherboard. I haven't got a new power supply. But I have read... Oh, blah, blah. I have a 750 watt power supply, which is more than enough for my computer. Some people said, you know, get like an 850 watt power supply. I have not done that. I took my 970 out and I put my brother's 650 Ti in there and I played for, I didn't ex extensively test that, but I played for a um, little while. It didn't crash, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the same circumstances. Like it wasn't uh, G-Sync. Like, I couldn't replicate identical circumstances from the 650 Ti to the 970. Like, I couldn't play at 1440p. I couldn't play at a high frame rate. You know, I had to lower some settings. That's another thing, too, you know. I played at ultra settings. I played at ultra lowest settings, lowest resolution. It will still crash in some games. Some games, it's crashed hundreds of times. Some games, it has never crashed. But... Thank you guys for watching this. I'm so sorry I haven't made videos. I'm just trying desperately to fix my computer because it is painstakingly terrible trying to make videos and make content when this happens. But I'm trying my best to get things going again. I appreciate all your guys' support over the last year. It was tremendous and I really wish I could have uh, capitalized on my uh, advancement that I had made, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any solutions to this, please comment down below, anything. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.